All right, uh, it is Wednesday. That means we are reading, or at least we are uh, hearing from someone who does. Uh, we're going to escape into the past today. A Cuban-American woman traveling to Havana to discover the roots of her identity. While she's there, she discovers a hidden family secret. Here to talk about next year in Havana is book critic Gwen Reyes from Fresh, FreshFiction.com. Uh, so this one, uh, she, she goes back uh, to her grandmother's homeland yes uh, to do what to so her grandmother passes away and on her on her deathbed she begs her daughter her granddaughter to go back to Havana to sprinkle her ashes for her and take her back mm. to her homeland and what I thought was so great about this book is just how vivid and beautiful the prose are it made me feel like mm. I was actually in Havana and mm. so as the granddaughter is kind of figuring out the grandmother's story and what's going on with that she starts to unravel like all of these secrets about who her grandmother really really was and it has a dual timeline so you've hmm. got um, a 1967 digging into the Castro regime. The grandmother gets caught up in that because she's a rich girl who falls in love with the wrong guy. Hmm. Um, and so I thought that was just a really fun reading and made me want to go to Havana. That's kind of cool. Yeah, and, and you're right just uh, about the, uh, you know, when you have vivid prose like that, mm -hmm. it can really uh, paint a picture for you and make yes. you want to go somewhere. This sounds like it might be even good for an audio book to have it sort of read to you and described. You and know, Jason, that's a really good point. I think this would make an excellent audio book. And I don't know who the, uh, the orator of it would be, but it's, um, yeah, I think this would be a great one. It's probably one credit on Amazon uh, Audible, so you can take a chance on it, which would be really great. And I love this too, how the granddaughter doesn't just go back to, to make good on grandma's wishes. She starts asking questions. She starts asking questions <laughs> and uncovering things. I think that's important too. Well, she's also a journalist, right. so, so she's she very curious. She's got lots of questions and, uh, you know, family histories are always a little dark and twisty. So who likes this one, do you think? I think this is perfect for our readers who are looking for something to add to their book clubs or their mommy book clubs, or um, it's also a really great read for anybody who wants to go to to Cuba and maybe mm. too scared or has reasons not to go to Cuba. Mm -hmm. um, this is a really great sort of introduction to the country. So good for a travel buff too, or if you're really into history, because mm -hmm. while she's weaving this fictional tale uh, through this, you, you do get a sense of the history of Cuba too. Sure, absolutely. And you want to kind of dig into who Castro was, and a lot of readers may not even it's so far removed now and Castro being dead, I think that people may not um, remember really all of the different stories that were happening. So it's a nice little uh, trip back in time. Mm. On this cold January or February day, it makes you just want to head to Havana. I know. <laughs> the thought of it is pretty nice. <laughs> Gwen, thanks for being thanks, with Jason. us today.